His Excellency is here present. And everyone, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, today is a great day for this country. A vision, you must know, is the worst hit in this time of our lives because of the COVID-19 thing. At the time, uh, people were wondering if uh, APC will be able to get these orders in. The truth is that 12 and a half years ago, we made a firm order for 13 brand new E195 E2 jets. I'm talking about firm order, not new server order. We made a firm order of 13 brand new jets. However, we made the order for 30 30 aircraft in 2018 in Mauritius, a firm order for 13. We have 17 orders on purchase rights, meaning that whenever we are ready to buy the remaining 17, uh, we're going to get them at the same price we are buying the 13 now. Today marks the beginning of the arrival of those jets. We receive one today. In two weeks time, the next one will follow. Another two weeks, the other one, they're already manufactured in our livery, in our pants, in everything. They'll be coming in one after the other. It's a thing to celebrate. So in the next couple of minutes, the aircraft will be landing in the soil of this country. It's flying direct all the way from Recife to Nigeria. Our bringing this aircraft will increase job opportunities in the country. These 13 planes will create about 8,000 more jobs. Today is a great day for this country because Nigeria, through the instrumentality of APIS, is the launch customer of this type of aircraft in the whole of Africa. It's the latest invention of Embraer. It has a capacity of taking about 144 passengers on single cabin and 124 on double cabin. That is business class and economy. It's one of the greatest inventions of Embraer and the aviation world. We are about number six in the world to be using it. We pray that the presence of the Brazilian ambassador here today will help us to make Embraer to come here to establish um, a maintenance facility like the Boeing did. They have uh, used Nigeria uh, in Africa as the, um, the headquarters of uh, Embraer business. I hope that we we'll, we'll call on Brazilian government to do that uh, because our order of 30 airplanes is the biggest they've had recently. The only people that are making orders more than us is Lufthansa. Lufthansa order 35. So followed by APIS. So when you come to Africa, we should have those facilities established in Nigeria. We have blessed the trade today. It is my prayer, because the sky is too big for everybody. It's my prayer that my brother airlines also will be where we are. We, it's our prayer that also they will be, maybe by the time we are leaving, they will contact you to make their own orders too. The sky is too big for all of us. So I'm so happy. I'm happy for APs, but I'm happy for the country in general that we are doing this. We've been challenged. We've responded to the challenge of Nigerian Airlines having new planes. Today, we mark the beginning. However, I must thank the Honorable Minister of Aviation, Senator Hadi Sirika, for all he has done for us during this period. I must thank him and I must thank the committee chairman of both houses of uh, the National Assembly who are here today. These people worked assiduously to help aviation. And of course, my president, the president of AON, the respectable Dr. Alhaji Abdulmunaf Yunusa, this man worked tirelessly. He is the most, already the most successful president AON has ever had. Because within one month of ascendancy to the throne, we have a revolution in the industry, whereby today, as my plane is coming, I'm not going to pay custom duties again on this plane. Senator Smart, Ademi, and Honorable Nolim Naji, we owe all of you a great deal for this feat. I want to thank the president of the country, 
I want to say something. This president supports individuals' investments. We are witnesses to that. He removed custom duties for us. He removed VAT for us on importation of aircraft and aircraft spares. He went ahead. He went ahead to remove VAT on transportation, air transportation. Please clap for the president. The truth is, if you don't bring these things to the fore, nobody will solve your problems. The president of the country is not a magician. What myself and Alhaji Abdulmunaf did was to present those challenges that have been bringing down airlines in Nigeria. And we moved together uh, with my brothers here, Kashim Shetima. We all moved, went to uh, the two gentlemen seated there, the distinguished Senator Adeyemi and uh, Honorable Inaji, and they took up the we explained to them. They gave us the senior years. They said, well, the best place to do this is to use legislation to, to do it. And we met our minister who took it upon himself to make sure that these things are removed to enable airlines prosper in this country. Please help us thank Senator uh, Sirika. He has really done a lot of revolution in the aviation industry since taking over. We can testify to that. Because he led us to the National Assembly, he led us to the Minister of Finance, and of course, he made the representation to Mr. President. And that, was, that is what we are reaping today. These things will go a long way to help aviation in the country. I have to end this, but not without thanking Fidelity Bank, our bank. Fidelity Bank has been a very, 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 very strong supporter of our drive to improve the aviation space. We thank Fidelity Bank. We've bought about 17 planes using loans from Fidelity Bank. But we thank ourselves because we paid all of them back. So, thank you. Um, I don't know what to say. I'm short of words, but thank you all.